I have certain friends that I text because I haven't got WhatsApp or whatever. Yeah. Or like, there's certain people I have just WhatsApp. Not because yeah. it's lesser, but I only need to talk to you on one, on one thing. So on my yeah. phone, all I have is my texts and my my, um, my WhatsApp mm. in terms of like communicating. I'm a scene now. On my friend's phone now, she has, what's it, um, Peem, some new thing they have. Then you have iChat, well, that's on your phone, but mm. like you have like... Um, Snapchat. Snapchat is one then. Um, there's another one, um, like v- Keek. Keek, then there's v- all this. I don't understand why you have to have like 10 different billion things, yeah, to talk to the same one person. I don't because from the way one person has it, and they have yeah. all, all these things. Why can't I just talk to one person? Because we're having like four different conversations across Someone four. Follow, follow Twitter, follow them. I just see people list it. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, follow me on this. Vine, no. Keek, Keek. Um, what's the other one? Um, Sherry's on Keek. the YouTube. I don't need all of this. Uh, I don't understand. It's like every time a social network like appears or introduced, everyone is on it. Like everyone's on it, jumping on it. Like add me this, add me that. Why? 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 Literally, why do you want to put yourself out there so much? Like for me, the worst thing I can think of is being so easily accessible. Like that is the worst thing. It's just it's stressing my brain. My friend was like, "Oh, do you have Keep on WhatsApp?" She was asking me on WhatsApp, "Do I have Keep?" I was like, what is it? She's like, oh, it's like, what's up? I was like, but I, so but I already have what's up and we're here speaking already. Yeah, it's, it's not like it's broken. It's do, do you know what I mean? Like, we're actually having a conversation yeah, right now. If it's broke, 
Yeah, we can move to keep. Yeah, or if they start trying to charge you for it. Do you know what I mean? Then then we can move on to the the next free one. one. Do you understand? But if it's the same thing, don't ask me to. Don't. I didn't. I never had WhatsApp when I had BB. Okay. Exactly. You didn't have BB. You weren't on my phone. (laughs) We could text or we BB. That's it. And then when WhatsApp came along, I got rid of the BB. I Mm. can only communicate with one. I'm not a very good woman where I can (laughs) multitask. No, I can't do it. You can only talk to me in one place. It's because the thing is, it's long. But why would you need to have like four? I don't understand. To talk to the same four people. It does. It just doesn't make sense to me. Don't you just hate it, yeah? When you're on keep and you see these people, especially girls, you see girls like, "Hey, keepers, how you doing?" And then they're just there, like touching their hair, like twiddling around their fingers, like they don't even say nothing. It's like, yeah, I'm like really bored. Like, anyway, bye. Now, why are you saying bye? You haven't even said anything important. All you've done is. Now, don't get me wrong, yeah. At social networks, some of them can be cool, like. You know, it's it's good to be sociable and speak to your friends, but obviously not everyone has credit, so sometimes it's easier to just go on, let's say, Facebook, anything, you know, put our DM someone. But I think I'm, I have more of an issue with how people use these things. Like, let me, let me, let me paint an example. Facebook. Now, I can go on all day about Facebook and the things that really, really get to me, like the things that raises my stress levels, but I've narrowed it down a little bit. I'm just going to give you the, the main points. One, status updates. Now, I think everyone has come across the most stupidest status updates, and I know you guys have all thought what I'm about to say right now. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some that are really informative. Like, you know the ones that you just like have a debate on and like, it's just proper intellectually stimulating. Like, you know, I love when people put up status that you can really reply to, have a debate with with people on them and just, you know, like little issues that you can just really have a good intellectual stimulating conversation with. Like, you know them life changing statuses that are just so informative and that you can just get a lot from it and then that like, makes difference to your day. And then and then you scroll down now, past all of the candy crush invites, past all the Chantel selfies, and then you see just went to the pub for a pint. Mara says, going to shop to buy a pint of milk. Oh my god, like. Who cares? But you know what? It's not even that that pisses me off entirely. It's when you look down here and you see bare likes and a million comments on both states about going for a pint. And then you see all these other states up there that I was just talking about. And it's like, no comments, like zero likes, like no love for Michael's words of wisdom. Well then there's those ones who have no priorities and put a Facebook status before their own life. Like one time, I'm not lying here at all, yeah? I see someone write, oh no, I burnt the toast and now my kitchen's on fire. Are you smoking stupidity? Call the fire engine then about you want to waste precious minutes putting up status. I don't know for some people, you know. Yeah, I do not like when there's this girl that goes to my uni, yeah? Mm. And she will purposely like put up one of them long, long, long piece of statuses, yeah? yeah? With like tagging like 10 different people, all the rest of it, yeah? And then when she's come off Facebook now, she'll be in her house, yeah. and then she'll be like, "Oh, have you seen how many likes I got on Facebook?" No, I didn't see how many. I don't. I'm not watching. Your Facebook is not television to me for me to go and watch it. Oh yeah, I can't do this blog and not mention the cringy couples. Now they need a shout out too. I feel the love. It's nice to see, but seriously, do we need to know every single detail about your relationship? Big man thing, yeah. No one cares about your dinner date or that you're cutting up on the sofa watching a movie. And one more thing. To all those couples that break up every minute, yeah? No one, and I mean no one, cares when you change your relationship status every 10 days from single back again. Like, stop doing it. Your relationship is a joke. Why don't anyone know that? Or in relationships. Oh, no, relationship but... status one. See, me, yeah, if I'm in a relationship, yeah, me and a person and my close ones will know no. about the relationship. Mm-hmm. It's not me and Facebook and Susie from down the road and the one, the man that lives in the, works in the shop. No one needs to know about <laughs> all of this. And then you'll be put up five minutes after you've gone out now. It's oh, so complicated. Love, no, no, no. <laughs> it's, oh, love my baby. Um, 2013 till forever. Are we in high school? No. And then two weeks later down the line, I hate you. It's now complicated. So it's now complicated. <laughs> so now I have to look on my, my newsfeed, looking at your complications, yeah? Come complicate my life. Oh, gosh. And then what do you call it? Then, oh, oh, they're broken up. Then you have bare message underneath. I'm so sorry, hon. He wasn't the right one for you. Uh, but five minutes ago, we were like, I'm so happy for you, babe. No. 
Make your mind up! <laughs> Another thing I hate is when someone, usually females, posts a ridiculously attention seeking status and then some doofus entertains it like, oh, what's wrong, babes? Or stuff like that. And then the, the, the attention seeker, the drama queen, oh, nothing, I'm alright, I'm okay, it's nothing. It's like, why you put yourself in the first place? Tell me why you mad for! Yeah, when people be like, oh my gosh, in such a bad mood, can't talk to no one right now, blah blah, yeah, as a status. 10 likes, someone will, will comment and be like, oh babe, what's wrong? I can't talk to you about it. Why are you on Facebook? Why See, are you telling the me this If I say I can't talk, that means I can't talk, therefore I don't need why to say I, I can't talk. See, I have never been on Facebook. I mean, because if I can't talk about it, why am I on Facebook? Saying Facebook is a social media because <sighs> you want to connect with other people. No, it's attention seeking because at the end of the day, yeah, if you're, if you were that upset, if you're really, really that upset, yeah, the fact that you have to go and find a laptop, Sign into Facebook, even if it you have to go and type Facebook into the little toolbar thing, yeah, to make yeah. it come up in the first place. It doesn't come up straight away like that, yeah. Make it come up like that, and then write a status. Think about it. Press send, submit to your Facebook, whatever we call it, and it has to sit there. Understand? So that means you have taken time. It didn't take you two seconds mm. because you had to write a sentence. There was there was grammar, punctuation, the whole lot. So you knew what you were doing. Do you know what's funny as well though? Everyone always said that it was Facebook that was the biggest snake and was just like so stupidly bait. But you guys are so wrong. Do you know what it is? It's WhatsApp, you know. Do you know how many times WhatsApp has snaked me with that dead last scene shit? I can't ignore anyone when, when, when I want to make selective replies. WhatsApp, I'm telling you, WhatsApp is the biggest. Tell me why you mad so for. They'll put up now the, the status on Thingy yeah, on mm -hmm. Facebook. Then we'll go now on to BBM. BBM. Put now status. I'm so pissed off. Angry face, angry face, angry face now. Message them, ping them now. Oh baby, yeah, okay. I don't want to talk about right now. Excuse you. So why are you bombarded? So them? I don't understand. See, because the, the thing is, yeah, status is on BBM. You can't help but see it. Yeah. That's what pisses me off. That's why mm. I have to get rid of mine. So now, obviously, it, you it will come up. So yeah. I will have to see it. So that for, that means there was a reason you put it up. You, mm -hmm. wanted, you wanted somebody to. So you can say, oh, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care. Do you know, just, I don't ask. Me and my friend. You say you don't want to talk about it. Me and my friend. No, 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 no. Me and my friend now. If someone puts the say it's up like that. Oh. On to the next. I won't even message you because yeah. that's tension seeking. If I if I have a friend that's upset, yeah, the friend will come to me I'm or be like, oh, babe, I'm really upset about something. Yeah. So we'll talk about it. Yeah. But if you're not even that close to me, you're putting up faces now, and then I come out of the goodness of my heart to come and message you. Please tell me I don't want to talk about it. Listen, I don't want to talk to you no more about it. Why well, on Instagram, yeah? Are there so many like likes? Man crush Monday, women crush Wednesday, throwback Thursday. And so on, yeah. I think it's so ridiculous that Facebook gives people a false identity, innit? No, think people do styles for the internet. That's on Instagram. You see now, oh, just woke up, but full face of makeup. <laughs> Like as in eyebrows, blusher, highlighting, contour, boots woke up. It's like 8, 8 a.m. No know. filter. You're lying. Valencia is on your thing. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Don't lie to me. I'm telling you. It's because with um one girl that used to go to my university, yeah, and she'll put all them pictures mm. and it'd be like them ones where she's like, Oh, let's wake up, yeah, but she'd be like all heavenly looking, yeah, and just everything just out. She'd be wearing like one like oh bed t shirt in it. Mm. But like it's mad low, mm. it's bare, like on your body. <laughs> Listen, up. why? <laughs> you know you took that before you went to bed and you made sure you made your face up, you made sure that you was looking, putting the t-shirt behind to make sure baby look all flat and that, yeah? yeah? Why? For the internet so you can get likes. These times when you then you scroll your picture now, two likes. My friend went onto Instagram and she took a picture and the comment underneath was, that's not what you look like. <gasps> oh. Yeah. You guys are trying to go meet up with the Instagram girls. <laughs> this time, you're, you're, you're looking for a film, mate. You need to go away. <laughs> she ain't gonna carry Photoshop with her now. <laughs> but anyway, what I'm basically trying to say, you know, is that social networks have kind of become such a craze these days, and that like no one sees each other anymore. Like I miss the days when everyone would just come round to each other's houses and just talk, but now everyone's just having social meetings on Facebook or Twitter. It I just can't understand the people that just follow me for no reason. And then you never look Ghost the picture. followers. No, don't never comment on nothing. <laughs> You're okay, just job. there looking at my face. What are you looking at? What are you looking for? Are you using it as for your friends? <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just I just come up with Oh my gosh, what's she doing? What, what is she doing? doing? Oh my gosh, I cannot be your excitement. No, stop I'm not your television. Like, no. go and find Channel Five, Sky Living, all of them things no. there. Find it your television. And then, then people, yeah, it's always, I've noticed, it's always females who are trying to get at their boyfriend indirectly or just like make, make them know that they're pissed off with them. So they post all these pictures 
like something like I saw one the other day saying, "Oh, I need a relationship, not a relationship." No, you need water because you sound fucking thirsty. Instagram, they're gassing people because boys are going like pictures here yeah, of Batty, bum, and all the rest of it, and these girls are thinking, "Oh yes," and yeah, they're going to send them. Me. Don't go out your house looking like that. That's not he true. likes you for where, babes. He likes you for no. I had one girl and she took a picture and she was in like her bra and no knickers and like a knickers and she said it was short. And I commented and just said, oh, I, I think, think you need to put on some clothes. This girl went in. She just told me she's not naked, how she got shorts on. I said, that's not shorts, that's knickers. Shorts come down mm -hmm. because <laughs> <sit up. laughs> there's a difference. <laughs> I don't think girls don't realise that nowadays and all I can see is crutch and boobs and mm -hmm. then she's getting all these likes and I said none of these guys are ever going to take you seriously. That's the thing, so they do all this stuff for all these guys yeah, but oh, no guy does like, home. Uh, trying to make a home into a housewife doesn't Next. work. Only similarity is that they both begin with hate. <laughs> 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 can you imagine? No, but seriously though, like, like all jokes aside and everything, like on a serious level, why are there so many social networks? Like, why do we need to get in contact with one person in different times? Like, seriously. I'm now in, um, where did I go? Me and my friend must have gone to, I think it was Nando's, just generically. Mm. You know how Nando's is just like chicken and chips, chicken and chips. you know? So obviously, <laughs> so I must have gone to eat now with my friend. And like, she's sitting here with her phone, she's doing like this, she's doing like this, she's taking a picture. Obviously the food's look, looking nice, obviously everyone knows what Nando's looks like. You get your generic chicken, you get your chips, you get your cumin mash, whatever you're getting yeah. or whatever. Everybody knows. Yeah. So you know you take, you high in the sky of your thing looking like this, trying to yeah, take pictures of the food picture now. Take pictures of the food. Take pictures of the food. <laughs> when you get hungry. And so you yeah. put it on Instagram now. For what? Oh, you're so to Nando's. All you have to do is say to your friend, oh, what's Nando's? Oh, is it? That's nice. I know what Nando's looks like. Me too, I've, always, I've also eaten my own. Like, I know what it looks like. You have to take pictures of it. Well, like, they'll go some, like, even. As... Do you know what? Yeah, I saw someone in a big posh restaurant. It was like somewhere down in London. Mm -hmm. And she stood up. Now, why have we got to be the only black people in the restaurant? <laughs> you have to stand up and take a picture of your damn food. I don't know why people took no picture of your food. <laughs> She took a picture of the food. And I'm thinking this food is so small. Like the flesh, you gotta eat your food. <laughs> you can eat that. The thing like, is, it makes sense to me. Okay, friend, if you've gone somewhere a little bit swanky, a little bit different, yeah, mm -hmm. you take a picture of the food because it looks like it's different it to you. Different. Isn't it? If it looks, but if you're in your house, yeah, eating no. your your Cheerios, honey nut Cheerios, life. yeah, with your your milk, yeah, or your just your mum's normal jollof. I didn't come here for you. Listen, I don't <laughs> care. Like everyone's mum can make that. Like, my mum can make it. Your yeah. mum can make it. So obviously, chop your own chop. I didn't see it. But anyway, what I'm basically trying to say here is that social networks have become such a craze these days that like everyone is plugged in, that like everyone, no one sees each other anymore. Like literally, it's just become a thing where you can have meetings on a social network, and it's just, it, it it baffles me. What happened to just going to someone's house and talking rather than doing it on Twitter or on Facebook? It's become a thing where everyone's just using it as a lifestyle and like just wasting their lives in it, like. I know some of you have jobs as well, but people are still finding time yeah. during their job just to tweet. I'm thinking, how? Why? Like, no, come on the phone and go do something like that. Right. 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 On Facebook, I will right. speak to around five of them when I'm not on Facebook. My friends comment and say that I look thin on Facebook. That's because I don't even have a double chin on Facebook.